Today in our 2008 Honda Odyssey, we'll be installing the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat connector, part number 118438. To begin our install, we'll first open up the rear cargo door. Then we'll need to remove the rear threshold. To remove the rear threshold, there are two tow hook fasteners that have to be screwed out first. Once we remove these fasteners, we'll then use a flat bladed screwdriver or an interior trim panel tool to get underneath the threshold and pop the fasteners free. At the top and bottom of the threshold, we'll go ahead and turn it over and see the fasteners that are underneath. Next, on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and remove the spare tire cover and jack storage compartment door. Next, we'll move over to the passenger side where we need to remove the cargo hook. Then pull out on the interior trim panel, releasing the fasteners underneath, gaining access to the manufacturer's junction box. In the upper right-hand corner, there's an open port, which will match the gray plug on our new wiring harness and converter box. We'll go ahead and take the wiring harness, route into the junction box, and make the connection. Next, we'll need to mount the converter box. To mount the converter box, we're looking for a clean flat surface to adhere to. We'll remove the two-sided adhesive and secure it below the manufacturer's wiring harness and junction box. Coming out of our converter box is a white wire with a pre-attached ring terminal. This will be the ground for our converter box and new four pole harness. We can remove the ground stud, install the ring terminal, and then re-secure the stud. Next, we'll take the four pole flat harness and follow the manufacturer's wiring across the threshold and over to the jack storage compartment door where it'll ultimately be stored using black zip ties to secure our wiring as we go. Then we'll go ahead and cut off the excess from our zip ties to clean up our install look and we're ready to reinstall the interior trim components. Now with everything reinstalled, we'll move to the front seat on the passenger side. Here at the kick panel, there's a fuse compartment. We'll remove the fuse compartment door and locate the number five pin. We'll install the 7.5 amp fuse provided with our install kit into this open pin to provide power to our new four pole connector. Then we can take the label provided with the install kit and install it onto the fuse panel door. Then we'll go ahead and put the door back in position and we're ready to test our new four pole harness. To test the four pole harness, we'll go ahead and pull it out, take the ground clamp of our test light, put on the white wire open terminal, testing the first terminal, brown wire terminal, will be the running light circuit. Then the yellow wire terminal will be the left turn signal left braking. And green wire terminal will be the right turn signal right braking. Now we know our four pole harness works, let's go ahead and show you how to use it. We'll simply take the four pole harness out of the jack storage compartment area and run it towards the center of the vehicle and down towards our hitcher accessory. Be careful to stay away from the door latch as pinching the wire in the latch can harm it. However, the weather stripping is thick enough that we can simply close the rear cargo door on it and then pull out the necessary wire to run to our hitcher accessory. Then, once we're done, we can simply roll it up and store it in this jack storage area. And there you have it for the tow-ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat connector, part number 118, 
on our 2008 Honda Odyssey.